Hi everybody, this is Kapo Daniel speaking for the African People's Right Advocative Platform bringing you today update in Africa with African perspective on global issues. We will start with video images that have emerged from North Africa with Wagner PMC Group's boss Prigozhin. Работаем. Температура плюс 50. Все как мы любим. ЧВК Вагнер проводит РПД. Appearing in a video where he states that he is in Africa with the Wagner Group and I quote, we are here working on temperatures over 50 degree with the Wagner Group in conducting recognizance and search operation making Russia greater in Africa and Africa freer eliminating ISIS, Al-Qaeda, and other cartels and gangs in Africa. The Wagner Group leader had met some African leaders and heads of state who were present in the latest uh, Russian-African summit that took place in Russia recently. The Wagner PMC is a very brutal group and with very controversial tactics on the battlefield. And uh, so there are a lot of reservations, even though Africa needs a lot of assistance in combating hotspot conflict areas. We are still having a lot of reservation with the practices and uh, standards of our Wagner group. But Africa, for the most part, is a drowning man, and we will cling on to anything to survive, including the crocodiles. The West have, for the most part, abandoned Africa to conflict and wars and civil wars killings and uh, we also appreciate the help that are coming in from russia in any shape and in any kind because indeed africa is in a dire situation to come out of conflicts and wars russian foreign minister Sergei larov have arrived in south africa to attend the BRICS summit he will be attending the summit in person after russian president vladimir putin pulled out a few weeks ago as South African President Cyril Ramaphosa announced at that time that Putin will not physically attend the BRICS summit because of the arrest warrant that was issued by the International Criminal Court in regarding alleged crime committed during the Ukraine-Russia war. Over 40 dignitaries all over the world participated in the BRICS summit in South Africa, in Johannesburg, and uh, there was a South African traditional dance at the airport. You could see Sergei Larov joining in the dance. For us in the diaspora, we do not think these are good ideas because we know how the world perceives us. In the global scene, Africans should be aware that there are people who think that Africans who travel abroad, they come through the sea or some of them are walking on foot. Portraying African as tribal people sometimes reinforces stereotype about africa africa has a developing middle class and we believe our culture should be portrayed in a light that will put reinforce positive image from africa not that our, our culture itself is bad but in the global perspective we need to be sensitive about global image that might be different sometime from african perspective back home just to throw more highlight BRICS, as you know, means the acronyms of BRICS started, I think, in 2001. It means Brazil, Russia, India, China. That is the acronyms of BRICS. And recently, when it really started formally as an informal club of, na of nations that was initiated by the president of the Russian Federation, Vladimir Putin, it started at uh, 2009. That is when BRICS was formed. It is mainly a business forum to improve economics cooperation and development amongst member states. Most of the members, all of the member states of uh, the BRICS are all members of the G20. They are mainly formed to challenge the war-based system that is dominated by the United States and the Western allies. So BRICS, B for Brazil, R for Russia, I for India, C for China and now with the S from South Africa. There have been many countries who want to join the BRICS, including Saudi Arabia, Cuba, Kazakhstan, Gabon, Cameroon, Ethiopia. While this informal club 
improves collaboration, economic collaboration amongst these various states, and Africa benefits a lot from the BRICS. Why do African states themselves not come up with such economic forum to gather resources to improve economic cooperation and development amongst Africa? Without a doubt, the Russian Federation have improved significantly the lifestyle and livelihood of the African people, providing huge discounted and even free fertilizer that are rich with minerals to African states, something Africans have not benefited from their European counterpart. We welcome the donations and support from the Russian Federation, but Africans should know that the reason why the BRICS was created by the president of the Russian Federation is for the Russian interest and the interest of other global powers like India and Brazil that seeks to challenge the dominant and mainly monopolistic power of the Western states, including the United States of Africa. Who is watching the back of Africa? We need our own African economic cooperation. We need our own African leaders to be able to put their resources together and bring up developmental projects within Africa that can richly improve our livelihood and our independence from Western powers. Africa have to end this issue of being part of people's war, becoming a battleground and seek to protect its own and develop its own interests rather than being played like a pundit. Nevertheless, we think that the BRICS have brought more improvement in the livelihood of Africa than the G20. Despite the fact that the G20 have put in the disposal of Africa a huge amount of money for climate change and development, but most of those money comes in the form of loans and do not give Africa any better prospect in its economic projection for the next long-term period. We of the African People's Advocative Platform, we advocate for Africa, for Africans, African visions, African interests, African economic power, African collaboration for the development and betterment of the livelihood of Africans.